Hi and welcome to today's live video where we're sharing the success and happiness of getting to 10% weight loss. <laughs> yeah, so with since I've been with losing weight with Weight Watchers, I have lost 10% of my body weight. In fact, this morning at the weigh-in, I got two certificates. Not only my 10%, but also my two stone certificates. So I've been with Weight Watchers now for nine weeks. I've lost two stone, and which is 10% of my body weight. Now, when you get to 10%, you also get this little box. Now, inside this little box is something really exciting, guys, because it's the start of getting to goal. So inside this little box, it says, congratulations, is your key ring. Now, this is no ordinary key ring. This is the key ring which we are going to put our key on. So when you get to goal with Weight Watchers, you put your key on here. Okay, which is just a little metal key, but obviously it's kind of the sign. It's the most envious sign in Weight Watchers that you get to your goal weight. And then for every year that you stay at your goal, you get a little star. So hopefully in 10 years time, I will have a key on here and 10 stars. So this is the start of something really special. And I didn't know it was happening as well. I was so shocked when uh, Diane told me. And you can see it does actually say Weight Watchers. So the subject of this video is how, how did I manage to go on holiday and basically lose half a stone in the last two weeks? Well, I'm going to tell you how, guys. It's about... If you're at plateau or if you've been losing weight for a long time, it's good to give your body and your mind a break. And this is what lifestyle is all about, guys. It doesn't matter if you exercise all day long um, and you eat perfectly. If you just keep doing the same thing, your body will stop at some point ha having progression. You've got to change your exercise or you've got to change your eating habits. So for me, as you know, I teach a lot of exercise. So for me, the best thing to burst up my weight loss is to stop exercising. So for one week, last week, I didn't teach any exercise class whatsoever. Um, on my step counter, some days I did 10,000 steps, one day I did 15,000 steps, but most of the days, to be honest, I did about four or 5,000 steps and that was it. I carried a few bags to the beach, a bit of strength training. Um, now, some really important things that I did do is that I went to bed at 9 p.m. most days when I was on holiday. Um, and I went for a little sleep on the beach as well in the afternoon. Um, so again, this is what I mean by changing your lifestyle. It's not just about changing your exercise program and changing your eating habits. It's also about giving yourself a break. So I'm really, really happy that that holiday last week has really not only motivated me mentally to keep going with my uh, diet and fitness plan, but it's also um, obviously given me some great results through giving my body a rest. And for those of you that you don't know, exercise is a stress on your body. So if you're stressed in your life because of something else, actually exercise probably ain't gonna help you right now because your body is so stressed. Exercise, sun, any sort of outer factor on your physical body is a stress, so please don't forget that, guys. Sometimes you will lose more weight sat at home, relaxing, than you will running out to the gym. So if you are struggling with weight loss um, and you are exercising daily at the moment, I would say take a break. Absolutely take a break and hopefully you'll get the same results as me. Half a stone in two weeks, I'm so happy. Right guys, so that's it. If you have had similar experiences where you have been on holiday, please share them with me. Now, I know a lot of people have been asking finally about nutrition. Uh, thank you, Yvonne, for those big heart eyes. Um, now, when I was on holiday, I had fish and chips twice. 
not small, large fish and chips twice. I also had two very large big breakfasts. So those were kind of things I had on holiday. Um, you saw the car boot that I had when I went camping and I had a lot of foods there, which were fairly good. But the first time in nine weeks, I didn't track last week. Because remember with Weight Watchers, I've been using the app and I've been tracking exactly what I've been eating. Whatever goes in here has been scanned and put on my app and I didn't do that last week. And as me and uh, Bev were chatting there um, previously this week, you know, you feel out of control when you're not tracking. But to be honest, it's a great thing just to give your mind and your body a rest. Um, and this proves that Weight Watchers is changing your lifestyle because you are going for those healthier options. Even when I was going for fish and chips in these restaurants, I was still having sparkling water. Um, so so it's really weird how you go back to certain situations but then you keep some of your core health messages inside. Um, so I am really, really happy with the results. If you've got any other questions or you'd like to share any holidays you've been on and you've lost weight, please tell me. Unless you've been to Egypt and gone to the toilet a lot, then I know why you've lost weight. <laughs> <laughs> right guys, I'm at the cinema, so I'm gonna go to the cinema now. And I, of course, I've got a little bit of popcorn with me. Woo, I haven't had any popcorn for about three weeks. I'm gonna go watch a film, have some popcorn, and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now, bye.